Okay, we're back. This is video two of the alternator upgrade that I've been um, working on. This is a Ford 130, 135 amp 3G alternator. It's, uh, I showed you in the previous video, it's now installed and uh, the belt's been tightened, pretty tight. Um, required 10 millimeter bolts or uh, uh, metric size bolts, I think it's a 10 millimeter, maybe I'm wrong, uh, to install these. Um, but a couple things I wanna note. Um, here's the wiring. I used a four gauge wire that I showed you. Okay. It's hard to see if I pull back a little bit. I used a 4G wire into a maxi fuse. This is the maxi fuse right here. It's made by Little Fuse, 175 amp fuse. Okay. And there's the four gauge wire. Now there's the two wires that come off the radiator, or excuse me, the radiator alternator um, right here the yellow and the green the yellow goes to the regulator wire and the, excuse me the green goes to the regulator wire that's shown here and the yellow goes to the positive pole of the battery now one of the things I did do was I added this which is one thing for spreading around some of these 12 um, battery connections is battery plus connections and as you can see I have some wires for my fuel injection system back here and this is the main wire for the accessories this goes to the ammeter um, in the vehicle and then I did want to express my disappointment in this this is the best I could find at my local auto parts store for a battery terminal and I'm gonna be adding a old-fashioned top post terminal to this but as of now it's together I followed the instructions as the uh, internet um, wiring diagrams shown. I used a little heavier gauge wire, which is a 4G, a 4 gauge wire, and everything seems to be together, secured down with my maxi fuse. Again, there it is. It's in that little box. And there's my solenoid. And again, I'm going to clean it all up and finish it, and then we'll see how it works. I did read about some trouble with these belts being, these V belts not being very effective with these higher uh, amperage alternators. Uh, I'm gonna give it a shot. That's the Deco Topcog belt that everybody, if you read the form, say uh, work best with these. So hopefully I'm gonna, fingers crossed, a single pulley, single belt pulley, and um, I'm not gonna need to modify anything else to make this work. So here's hoping. All right, we'll see you in video three.